Good afternoon, Daffy. Oh, good afternoon, Melissa. What just happened then outside? A big thunderstorm and plenty of rain. It was massive, wasn't it? Yeah. And the lights flickered for a bit? Yeah, well, that was a lightning. Now, in another video, you said that when it rains, that's the angels doing a wee. Yeah, flying, <laughs> flapping their wings and weeing. Yeah, now... Oh, no, that was more than a wee. Yeah, what the hell was that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it, it was a downpour. Might have been the devil. <laughs> well, there was claps of thunder and lightning, Nan. <laughs> now, listen, I just have to fix your hair here a little bit because that's annoying me. There we go. That's God. a bit better. When you get your hair cut, yeah. it always takes a few weeks oh, for it to it settle, does. doesn't it? Yeah. So, whilst there's not much that we can do because it's absolutely pouring yeah. outside, mm -hmm. I thought that we would talk about when the Australian dollar came mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. So before the Australian dollar, which happened on the 14th of February, 1966, mm -hmm. we had the Australian pound. That's a pound, shillings and pence. And that was based on the British pound. Yeah. yeah. And so Australia had the first, I think it was the first Australian pound in 1910. 1910. 10. Yep. And then we decided to go to the Australian dollar. But you went into your drawer there yeah. and got out your little um, <laughs> bag of tricks that you have. <laughs> so the old Australian pound was made up of half pennies, mm -hmm. which is like equivalent to half a cent. Mm -hmm. Then a penny was one cent. Yeah. A threepence was two cents. A sixpence was five cents. Mm -hmm. A shilling was ten cents. Yeah. And a florin was 20 cents. Yeah. And you found some in your little bag of tricks there. Yeah. So this one here is one penny. Yeah. Then these ones here a are half your half pennies. Your half pennies. There's three of them. Oh, yeah. One's in 1942, Nan. What's that one? 19. Hold on a second. What's that one? 1921. And then this was your florin. Yep. There we go. And then what are these ones again? Uh, five, uh, six pences. Six pence. Mm, I think. And you've had them, well, obviously for a very long time. Yep. Yeah, six pence. Yep, which is the equivalent of five cents. Yeah. So I'm just going to do a little bit of history and then you're going to talk about what it was like to convert. So yeah. in 1966. Yeah. Oh, what were you? You were 38. 38? Yep. You'd have been 38 when it changed. Yeah. So, how it came about was, in 1959, mm. Harold Holt was the national treasurer. Mm. Now, do you know who Harold Holt is? Yeah, I know who, it was, who what, he is. What did he become? He became Prime Minister and he disappeared. They reckon he drowned. Yes. So, in 1959, he was the treasurer. And he yeah. kicked off this new decimal currency. Yeah. But in January of 1966, yeah. he became the 17th Australian Prime Minister. 17th. Yep. Yeah. And you said just then that he disappeared? Yeah, he went swimming and they never ever found his body. No. They presumed he drowned. So he was down swimming at Cheviot Bay. Mm-hmm. And him and a friend went swimming and it said that he got caught in a rip. 
Mm. And his body was never found. Yeah. And that was December of 1967. 67. Mm. So, you know how the Australians have a lot of sayings? Yeah. And we have some weird ones. <laughs> Yeah. Now, I don't know if you would know this saying, but a lot of your followers who are in Australia would know that Harold Holt is obviously because he disappeared. Mm -hmm. So when you are hanging around your mates and they take off and they do the bolt, you mm -hmm. know, they bolt off like yeah, a horse, yeah. you will say, oh, he did the Harry Holt. Yeah. Have you the heard Harry Holt? The Harry Holt. Oh. That's what Australians, young Australians will say. <laughs> Poor Harold, he didn't probably well, realise he was going to be used as a saying as such. Well, they never ever found his body, but in the uh, ocean, it was in the ocean in a boat. Yeah. You never know where his body would have gone. Exactly. Hmm. So yes, when you hear someone say, oh, my mate did the Harry Holt, <laughs> that means he took off, he bolted. <laughs> yeah. Now, so if you go on YouTube, and I just showed you a little clip where back when they were trying to get the um, Australian people to understand that it's gone from pennies, threepence, sixpence, shillings, florins, yeah. Yeah. into two, which is dollars and cents, Mm. They did all these ads mm. and there was little cartoon characters. Yeah. But I just showed you that and you said you don't remember that. No, I don't know. Well, we wouldn't have had TV where we were born in. Yeah, you said you didn't. No, you were married then. Oh, 66. Yeah, yeah. you would have been yeah. in Dundas. Yeah. So you said you don't remember that, mm. but you do remember the day that it converted. Oh, yes, yes. So how kind did you... Kind of, not good, but kind of. How did you go with that? I found it hard at the beginning, but if we were to go back to this now, it would be hard to do too. Do you ever recall going into the shops and <laughs> trying to work it out? Oh, yeah, in shop windows. <laughs> but, like, when you had to go and pay for groceries... Did you no. remember whether you struggled? Yeah, because it was hard at the beginning, but you get used to it. You had to. Well, you had no choice, did yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, that's true. And where did, did you, I don't know if you're going to remember this, but you would have had your own cash because, well, they didn't have F-POS machines back then. No. <laughs> So, All those things. No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> did they, did you have to take your, um, like, this money here? Mm. Did you have to take it into the bank and ask for the new dollars and cents? Oh, to tell you the honest truth, I had forgotten. There would be people about that would remember it, but, see, I wouldn't have... Oh, no, I don't remember it. it. You know, it's something you don't kind of concentrate on. Yep. When but it took a while to get used to it. Right. And when you were working back then, mm. you got paid cash? Uh, yes, in a little envelope. And so that means that everything that you paid for would have been cash. Yeah, yeah. Because it went then, your money went into your bank account. Did you go and bank your money? No, I never banked it. But if um, you got paid, your money went into your account. See, and if you wanted money, you drew it out. But... So, but did you get cash when you were working or did you put it into your bank account? Oh, I used to cash. And then did you ever bank any money? Oh, a little bit, no, well, it was only my money and I had to pay board. Yep. Um, Travelling expenses. Yep. Morning teas when I were, and lunches. 
Yeah. So you, you didn't have that much to spend No, on. my God, no. <laughs> and I can remember when I had no money. Yep. And I went to church one Sunday and I wouldn't kneel down at the altar because I had holes in my shoes. Really? That's how poor I was. And is this when you were in Bandara or in Sydney? In Sydney. And how old would have you been? Oh, I wouldn't remember. I was, well, I must have been in my late 20s or 30s. And had you already had mum at this stage? Oh, I don't know. When was she born? 1954. 54. Oh, I can't remember that part back. <laughs> <laughs> so you weren't well off? Never been well off. I've struggled all my life. Well, you're not going too bad now. No, well, I'm more comfortable now than I've ever been. And you spend most of your money on KFC and Subway <laughs> and, <laughs> and takeaway food now. Uh, yeah, I don't buy any uh, clothes. Well, I've we... got clothes in my wardrobe I never wear. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and, and you're not one to throw things out, are you? No. Is I that... threw my socks out. Oh, <laughs> We have to tell people about that. <laughs> so you have had these pair of socks. Two pairs. Two pairs, I, and I would say for 15 years. I think I had them when I lived at... When you lived back in Sydney. Yeah, yeah. And you loved them because they had no elastic in them. Yeah, and now you... they've got elastic and I hate them. <laughs> And you used to be able to just crawl your feet into it. Yeah. <laughs> and now I bought you some new ones because I have bought you new ones over the years. But you, oh, yeah. You refused to wear them. Yeah. I had to cut the elastic at the top. Yes, because you don't like them because it cuts your circulation yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yes, you are a... Um, of a generation where you don't throw things out until they're completely broken. That's right. Yeah, well, they were hard days, those days. And even though they were hard days, and maybe a lot of other people will say it, we had nothing. Everybody was in the same boat. Yep. But we were happy. Exactly. You're never fighting with your neighbours or trying to outdo them. Yep. Okay, well, Daphne, I think that might do. We did a little bit of a history lesson about um, the Australian dollar. Yes. And you eventually got the hang of it, though. Yeah. And like you said, now you wouldn't be able to go back. I wouldn't want to go back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. That's a hard question to answer. I, I'm talking about I'm talking about the money. You oh, the money. Oh. You wouldn't like to go back. No. To that that no, style of money. No, because you used to. Oh, little doggy, stop chewing my feet. <laughs> <laughs> and before we go, Daffy, mm -hmm. we'll show everyone your little trusty you, my uh, bank. Your little bank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that I would say would probably be about 50 years old I reckon Oh probably wouldn't be And it's brown velvet <laughs> Rightio Daffy Rightio, goodbye everybody